Hi, um, in this video I want to talk about mental rehearsal or visualisation and um, why I think language learners could make better use of this. Basically, we all visualise stuff all the time. Um, we just don't realise that we're doing it. So if you, you know, if you ever had to order coffee in English and you felt a bit worried about it, or if you had to do an exam in English, I'm sure that before those events, you imagined them in your mind. Maybe with the exam, you thought, oh my God, I might get it wrong. I might remember, I might not remember my vocabulary. It could be a disaster. Well, that's an example of negative visualization. When we use positive visualization, we are actually making sure that we get the results that we want and deserve. That's why I think you need it. 